Are you tired of scopes that can't take a beating? <coughs> Looking for a scope that can withstand your everyday activities? <coughs> then choose Leapers UTG. Its true strength system can withstand even the clumsiest of air gunners. Learn more today. All right, guys, obviously you're not gonna be using your scope around the house to complete daily tasks. It's just impractical. Uh, but that said, we are gonna be taking a look at Leapers UTG optics today. Uh, gonna be putting them through their paces as far as durability and strength goes and holding zero, things like that. Uh, but about Leapers a little bit, guys, for a lot of you that don't know or maybe haven't been into air guns for a long time, uh, Leapers was one of the first manufacturers of optics that said, uh, you know, we're going to tailor our optics specifically to air guns. So you'll find like almost all of their scopes have a 10 yard parallax setting, uh, which is huge. And some even go down below that, like their bug buster line, they go down to like three yards. So you're able to focus at those close distances. And that's huge for air gunners because we shoot at a lot closer distances than you would use most firearms optics for. Another thing that Leapers is very well known for guys is obviously having a lifetime warranty, but really that lifetime warranty applying to all of their optics regardless of what you use them on. Now what that means is that for you guys that have your uh, Magnum gas piston or spring piston air guns, that Leapers is going to warranty the scope should anything happen to it, although it's, you know, it doesn't happen often, but if there was a problem, you know, it, something inside of the scope breaks, it's not holding zero on your gun, they're going to warranty that scope for life, all right? That's huge. A lot of other optics companies, even the ones that have some scopes that are rated for Magnum spring and gas piston guns, they don't warranty all of their scopes. Leapers, whether it's a $50 three to nine or a 4X scope, all the way up to their two and $300 optics are warrantying them all for the lifetime of the scope, regardless of what happens to it, which is huge. One of the other things Leapers is very well known for is bringing a lot of features in an affordable package. Now, they have scopes ranging all the way from $30 to $40, all the way up to three to $400. Uh, but this bubble leveler, which is one of the scopes we're gonna be taking a look at today, it's a four to 16 by 56, uh, and it actually has an integrated bubble level inside of the scope tube. So you can actually see that when you're shooting. Uh, on top of having, you know, mill dot reticle, locking turrets, resettable turrets, uh, side parallax adjustment, illuminated reticle, obviously you have the variable magnification, you know, you get the flip up covers included, uh, rings included with most of the scopes as well. There's not a lot that you're gonna be left wanting for when you buy a Leaper scope, which is really nice uh, from a consumer end. It's a great feature, or it's a great set of features that they build into their scopes. So guys, really what we're testing today is the durability and the ability to hold zero through some very adverse conditions of these Leaper scopes. Uh, and we did it within a price range. So uh, we have one scope here, which is our Bug Buster. This is a six by 32 uh, Bug Buster here with the front parallax adjustment. Now Bug Buster means it'll go down to three yards. Uh, so you can shoot super, super close, whether you wanna use it like this on a BB gun or something like that. Uh, this fits a wide range of applications. Mill dot reticle comes with the uh, quick detach rings you can see here that you just flip to pull it off and put it back on. Uh, you got locking turrets. There's a ton of features here. All right, guys. Um, basically, all of the scopes we're going to be testing today are built on their true strength system. Now, what does that mean to you? So basically, guys, what that true strength system means to you is, is that your scope is going to be weatherproof. So not waterproof per se. You're not going to be able to dunk it underwater. But what you are going to be able to do is take this out into the rain, not have to worry about any, uh, you know, any water getting inside of your optic. Uh, so it is weatherproof. It is nitrogen purged inside. And then, of course, it's shockproof. So that recoil rating, whether it's a Magnum spring piston or gas piston gun, uh, you are gonna be perfectly fine using one of these optics. So we've got our Bug Buster here, and that represents a sub $100 optic. Now moving up a little bit, we do have our three to 12 by 44. This is one of their SWAT scopes, so that means side parallax adjustment. Uh, but this is a 312 by 44 mil dot with a glass etched reticle. So you have a wire reticle in our Bug Buster. This is a glass etched reticle. Should be a little bit more durable, although we'll see if that even matters here once we get to testing. Uh, and this is about $150 scope. And then moving up, we have the bubble leveler, which uh, new, I believe, last year. Uh, this scope's really cool. It has an integrated bubble level on top of having a very nice glass etched mill dot reticle, uh, as well as some larger profile target style turrets, side parallax adjustment. Um, this is a pretty big scope, retails for about $225 uh, at the present time. So a lot of features built in, but there's a lot of common features as well. You know, they all have. Uh, your illuminated reticle feature, you are going to have, you know, some form of parallax adjustment, locking turrets, 
uh, milled out reticles and everything. So a lot of nice features and they all come with Weaver Picatinny rings, which is perfect because the gun we are gonna be using is the Benjamin Marauder Field and Target. Now this is a 22 here. These guns just came into stock. We tested this gun for you a couple months ago. So I already zeroed all three of these scopes at 20 yards uh, indoors, of course, only took three shots for each scope to get it on zero. So uh, the turrets are tracking nicely. Everything's holding up just fine in the preliminary testing. We know the gun's doing its job. We know it's nice and accurate. Now it's really just time to see if these scopes are gonna hold their zero during the battery of tests that we're about to put them through. All right, guys, so here's our testing procedure for the day. We're gonna take all three scopes. So I have my bug buster, my three to 12 SWAT, and then our bubble leveler scope. We have some mud over here. We're gonna drop them in the mud. We're gonna test that weatherproofness, all right? We're gonna drop them in the mud. We're gonna pick them up out of the mud, still muddy, toss them about 10 yards, all right? We'll do a 10 yard test, that's that shock proof test. Now Leapers beats the crap out of their scopes on this machine to test them. Uh, we're gonna try and replicate that with the devices we have here. Throwing them a good 10 yards is completely impractical, not something you're gonna do at home, but we're gonna do it here to see if they hold zero. Now I've locked out all of the turrets, uh, so hopefully everything holds up for us. Once I throw them, we're gonna pick them up, wash them off, get a little of that rain proofing that they're talking about with weatherproofing, and then we're gonna mount them back up on our Marauder Field and Target and shoot them again at 20 yards, see if they held zero. Let's do it. <laughs> just cleaning the scopes off a bit now getting some water in there is that rain proofing test making sure that none of the water is getting inside of our scope first of all but really just getting that mud and debris off of the lenses and the mounts we're going to go ahead get them mounted back up on the gun and see if they held zero <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's look at our results here. So starting with our six to 32 bug buster, six by 32 bug buster. Uh, first shot right up here, and then the next two shots basically re return to that half inch circle. Now bear in mind, guys, uh, this is a one inch circle. So uh, when I had them zeroed to that half inch circle, uh, to be that close, not a big deal to me. You know, for, for dropping it into the mud, throwing it, all that stuff, um, you know, the, this is certainly gonna be fine if you tip your gun over or if, uh, you know, you drop your gun in the woods or something while you're hunting. Uh, again, with the three to 12, again, uh, pretty close. So you are, are about a half inch away from our zero. Again, nothing a couple clicks isn't gonna fix, guys. These are not big changes, you know. This is not not being able to get your gun back, right? And then our bubble level, uh, again, you know, just right outside that half inch circle, uh, probably held that and the bug buster held the best, uh, but certainly all three more than acceptable from a being close to zero perspective. And I'd expect some variance anyway, anytime you take the mounts off of the gun and then return them, especially because we're not dealing with super high-end precision mounts here. Uh, so that all said, I would say they definitely pass that, that, that true strength platform is certainly truly strong. Um, but I think we can take this just a little bit further. Check this out. Guys, I love screwing with Matt. This stupid little Apple box thing that he sets stuff on for photos and video. He loves it. I'm gonna put a nail in it. Only problem is, couldn't find my hammer. We're using the bubble leveler. Good enough for government work. So we hammered a nail. Now we're gonna soak a scope in flubber. This is basically, I don't even know what this is, but it's like jelly. We're gonna make our bug buster scope into a gigantic bouncy ball and drop it off the top of a house onto concrete and see what happens. All right guys, I'm up here with this bug buster scope basically wrapped in a big giant bouncy ball made of homemade flubber. We're gonna drop it from about 10 feet. I have no idea which side is which, so we're just gonna let this fly and see what happens. Here we go. Here we go.
All right, guys, before we go ahead and get this scope sent back to Leapers, I got it all boxed up and ready to go. Figured why not give it a couple spins behind the go-kart. Let's do it. Okay, guys so we have our bubble leveler that we used as a hammer you can see it's pretty dinged up there we have our bug buster that we dropped from 10 feet uh, in some flubber like stuff uh, you can see we didn't even bother getting all the flubber off of it just off the bottom of the mounts here and off the lenses still looks okay though uh, yeah it looks okay so we'll start with this one uh, but first guys we got to get our 3 to 12 out of the box <laughs> there's gravel in it oh jeez all right Ooh, rough. You hear that? That's not good. All right, let's take a look. Looks okay, a little bit roughed up, nothing too crazy. Everything sounds okay. Take a quick look through. Reticle still up and down. Everything looks all right, guys. Let's get this bug buster mounted up and we'll start our testing. All right, guys, so our extreme testing, if you want to call it that, uh, starting with the bug buster, so dropping it from about 10 feet up uh, in kind of like a spongy, kind of bouncy ballish type of stuff that just splattered apart. Uh, got some physical damage on the scope there, uh, but still pretty close. You know, you're talking about being a couple clicks up high there. Uh, those three shots, you're going to be able to get that back re-zeroed no problem. And in all honesty, this is not going to make or break you. You can compensate for this really quickly uh, if you did have that kind of thing happen. I don't know why you'd be dropping your scope from that high, but again, uh, knowing it can last, that's what it's all about. That true strength system doing its job. Uh, going up to the 3 to 12. So I didn't even see this uh, when we pulled it out of the box. So we have some major damage on these turrets here up there. Got a chunk out of them. So these were just riding on the ground, getting bounced around and stuff. And when I went to tighten down this mount, man, oh boy, I could feel the crud and just the, the, the stuff in there. It was not good. Uh, but that scope way the heck off to the uh, left here of the target. So this was pretty far out there. I did correct just to make sure I had enough windage adjustment to get myself back zeroed. Uh, and I ended up going too far. So certainly have enough adjustment and the scope is tracking still. So able to get that re-zeroed if I wanted to and get back going again. Um, so the scope is definitely not broken by any means, although it did not hold up after being drugged behind a go-kart. Uh, and obviously being used as a hammer, I didn't know I could use my Leapers UTG scopes as hammers. But knowing I can use this bubble leveler scope as a hammer and still have it pretty much dead on bull, I like that a lot. So I would say that true strength system definitely doing its job, guys. Uh, you know, give Leapers a look. If you're looking for especially an affordably priced scope with a lot of features, good quality that's going to stand up on your Magnum spring and gas piston guns, guys, not one to overlook. So definitely check Leapers UTG out next time you are cruising around Pyramid Air. Uh, for the Insider Guys, I am Tyler Patner. Thanks for watching today. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. We will see you guys at the next one.